Waveform's new drum sampler allows for the rapid sampling and intuitive programming of drums, percussion, and much more. Based on the powerful multi-sampler, it offers a simplified drum-focused UI, displaying the standard 4x4 pad layout associated with all classic drum machines and modern MIDI controllers. Let's dive in and see how this works. To get started, we'll need to load an instance of the drum sampler in our edit. Simply drag the plugin object onto a track, navigate to Waveform Plugins, choose Drum Sampler, and the UI automatically opens. Clicking on the three horizontal lines opens the Settings menu, and it's here you can enable or disable various voice and playback options. Here, the back and forth arrows allow us to undo or redo any action made within the drum sampler. Clicking here brings up a menu where we can load presets and save user kits. I'm going to load the 808 kit. You can see that the pad layout has now loaded each of the 808 samples. You can expand on this kit if you wish by bringing the B, C, and D grids into view and add in more samples. Next, we have MIDI Learn, a button to load or save specific layouts, and finally Note Repeat, which can be toggled on or off and set to various repeat rates. We'll explore these later in the video. Clicking on a pad triggers its sound and also brings its sample into view. Start and end points for each sample can be set here. And this button enables the ADSR parameters, which can be easily adjusted. Clicking on the three horizontal lines here allows us to change the drum icon and the color of the pad. To change the name of a sample, simply double click on the text. The following four rotaries allow us to adjust pitch, volume, pan, and velocity sensitivity. Choke groups can be set here, and when grouped, samples belonging to that group will cut each other off when triggered. You can set individual outputs for each pad here, which is great for routing drums to individual tracks. And finally, we have solo and mute controls. Creating your own drum kits is really simple. Let's start fresh by clicking on the menu and choosing Reset to Default. We can now open Waveform's browser and audition any drum hits we have in our collection. When you come across a sound you like, simply drag it onto a pad. By default, the pads are blue, but we can quickly change that here. And also change the icon if we wish. Using my machine MIDI controller, I'll trigger these sounds. The pad layout is close to how I like it, but I'd like to make a few adjustments. To change which pad on your controller triggers which pad in the drum sampler, first click on a pad in the drum sampler. Now click on the MIDI Learn button to enter a sign mode. Hit a pad on your MIDI controller, and then click the MIDI button again to take it out of a sign mode. Once happy with our layout, we can save it for future recall by clicking here. The preset details window gives us the option of saving MIDI note, name, icon, and color along with our preset. I'll check all of these and then click OK. Here I'll name it Machine Layout and click Save. The note repeat function is really simple to use. Just click here to enable it and then adjust the rotary to alter the rate. We can assign these parameters to our MIDI controller, allowing us to toggle note repeat on and off and adjust the rate on the fly. You can achieve this by doing the following. First, click on the Drum Sampler plugin. Open Waveform's Properties panel and click on the MIDI Controller Mappings tab. Click the MIDI Learn button to put us in Assign mode. Click on the Note Repeat button and press the button on your controller you'd wish to assign it to. Now move the rate parameter, and then move a rotary on your MIDI controller. You can see these are now both assigned in the Properties panel. 
Let's click the MIDI Learn button once more to exit Assign Mode before testing this out. Clicking the button on my MIDI controller now enables and disables Note Repeat. And I can now adjust the repeat rate on my controller while holding down a pad. Step clips are now tightly integrated with the drum sampler. Simply drag a step clip onto the track where the drum sampler resides and its channels are automatically assigned to the pads in the drum sampler. The names are correctly displayed on the left side of the clip and these names mirror those in the drum sampler. Even if you've edited the names of your pads, they will be displayed correctly in the step clip. This integration allows us to quickly program beats and build patterns. If you feel you need more control over your drums, you can quickly convert the drum sampler to an instance of the multi-sampler while retaining your samples. With the drum sampler plugin selected, simply open the browser, click on the Actions tab, and then click on the Convert to Multi-Sampler action. Our drum kit remains and can now be viewed by clicking on Pads here. But now we have access to the multi-sampler's filters, envelopes, modifiers, record function, and more. I hope this video has helped to get you up and running with the drum sampler. We'll be taking a deeper dive into its functionality and specific workflows in future videos. Thanks for watching.